Robbie, the final day, day five, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm exhausted to be honest. Um, much harder than I expected, yeah. but the end is in sight. I think we've raised up to 200 grand at the minute on the website, bbc.co.uk forward slash backside. I just hope the money keeps coming in. Alan, the end's in sight, how many more have you got to go? I think about 1500, something like that, so yeah. I'm looking towards the finishing line. We're nearly there. Five days of incredibly hard work, it really was. Never did I think it would be this difficult. Have you found hidden reserves? <laughs> yeah, I've found hidden reserves. I've had to because I've been out to um, to Africa, to Kenya and Uganda and also seen the projects that they do here in the UK. So that's uh, that's what's pulling me through, although I'm in pain. Does it give you cheer in your heart though to know that the end's in sight today? Yeah, of course. It's been a long, hard, tough week. Physically and mentally, as you can see, seat after seat after seat. Uh, but we're getting there. Right now, what hurts the most? What everything. Your body hurts the most? Every, everything hurts. From my toe up to my... If I had any hair, that would hurt as well, but everywhere's aching. My body is screaming for a rest. I think you'd have to wear somewhere up on level 5. <laughs> when you see a section with armrests in, does your heart sink? It does, yeah. The armrests uh, are the posh seats, aren't they? So they're slightly more difficult than the other seats, so we got a, we got a like, little obstacle, but um, we're getting there. But um, it's for a great cause and we'll do it, just hopefully we can do it on time. Which has been tougher, the mental side or the physical side? I think both. Um, probably, probably physically it's just edged it, I think. Mentally, mentally it's been tough, but physically it's been very, very tough. Is it still a race or is it just a question of getting through it I think it's now? getting through it now. See it was miles ahead. What are you thinking of? What are you dreaming of? What's the first thing you're going to have when you finish? A nice big lolly or a... I'm going to have a hot bath with a pint of beer. with a lovely froth on it with a chill bits coming down the... can't wait. <laughs> I've not had one for a week. I'm desperate for one. <laughs> Absolutely shattered. Um, I don't think I've ever been so tired in all my life, and my body is, uh, is screaming at me. It needs a rest. It needs um, needs some food and drink inside me, and everything else to uh, put a bit more weight back on. Um, as of this morning, I'd lost nine pounds, so I'd guess it's nearly, nearly a stone now. I'm going to be beat by a better man, Alan Shearer, absolute legend, good friend now, so um, absolutely delighted to have raised so much money. I think there's still a week left to donate, um, bbc.co.uk forward slash backsides. I think we're over 200,000, you know, to raise over 200,000, hopefully to raise 500,000 for the charity is brilliant. Never thought in my wildest dreams would I be able to be in a position to help so many people. Yeah, the competition was a competition with two ex-sportsmen, so none of us wanted to get beat, but that wasn't the main issue. The main issue was trying to raise money for a great cause. Well, congratulations, Alan, on your achievement. You're through to the next round. <laughs> Thank you.